Good morning, Mid-South. This is Andy QP with the Weather Service here in Memphis. Quite a busy morning already. Uh, we want to get right into the forecast for today. Uh, I want to draw your attention first to the radar. Right now we do have showers and thunderstorms moving across the area. Um, there is a cluster of storms here moving through Fayette County and the Hardeman. Um, these storms aren't going to be severe. There could be some strong ones, um, possibly small hail, some gusty winds. Um, but currently there are more showers off to the west, so we'll expect this rain to kind of move through th this morning. Uh, the main threat, what we're going to talk about, is um, the severe weather outbreak today. Uh, we are expecting a couple more rounds of storms, um, and both of those rounds could be severe. And they could begin as early as 1 p.m. and then last as late as midnight. A few updates, changes, two rounds, like I said, of severe thunderstorms are now likely, one in the early afternoon, another one in the late afternoon into the evening hours. Uh, a significant tornado is possible south of Interstate 40. Uh, we do have a flash flood watch now in effect for uh, much of North Mississippi where uh, anywhere from two to three inches of rain and possibly more could fall. Uh, the primary threats today will be tornadoes. A few could be strong, a long track is certainly possible. Uh, damaging winds will become the big threat with the line later, as well as large hail. Uh, there is a secondary threat of localized heavy rainfall. Um, we do have high confidence that a severe weather outbreak will occur this afternoon into the evening hours. So looking at the latest outlook, uh, we have an enhanced risk um, pretty much across um, much of the Mid-South with a moderate risk down there along and south of a line from Oxford to Tupelo, Mississippi. A uh, few strong tornadoes possible, damaging winds, large hail, and heavy rainfall all possible. Uh, we have bumped the timing up to 1 p.m. as the new models have kind of shown it starting maybe a little bit earlier and then lasting through midnight with that second round. Uh, we do believe the greatest threat will be south of I-40 um, for a tornado. So here is a uh, simulated radar. Uh, here's storms kind of moving through the area. It looks like there may be a lull between 12 and maybe 1 o'clock and then you see more storms moving across with the line coming through probably about 9 to 11 p.m. and that will have widespread damaging winds. So looking at it one more time, storms kind of lifting out by one with another round moving in here with storms out ahead of the cold front which comes through at 9 p.m. So now is the time to act. Uh, review your severe weather plan, uh, you know, where to shelter, safety kits, uh, make sure you have multiple ways to get warnings. We do recommend a NOAA weather radio with batteries in it in case we do lose power. If a watch is issued, and that's very likely today, you need to enact your severe weather plan. Uh, and then also if a warning is issued, immediately go to your shelter location and enact that plan to keep yourself safe. So we want you guys to stay with us. Uh, stay tuned for the latest updates. You can go to our website, follow us on all our social media. Twitter is the most timely information that we release. Uh, we want you guys to be safe, be prepared, and continue to follow us.